I'm playing No Good Gophers Pinball. Designed by Pat Lawler and released in 1997 by Williams, this table combines golf with mischievous gophers for an all-out blast. The object of the game is to get through nine holes so you can play a multi-ball jackpot round. You drive balls by hitting any of the ramps or orbits. You can putt out by hitting the green in the top left, and if you don't have enough drives, you get a water hazard. The table features three flippers, three bumpers, two retracting ramps with gophers underneath, a whirlwheel, a golf cart, and a hole-in-one shot that can only be made by shooting the ball off the slam ramp. This is one of the few tables with aerial gameplay, and it's one of the most satisfying shots to make on any pinball machine. Even if you suck, you should still get plenty of opportunities to play with the slam ramp. It's easy to lower. Shoot the left ramp, cross the rollover, and lower the slam ramp. If you hit the gophers in the face enough, you can lock a ball. Lock two balls, then go for the green, and you'll initiate a multi-ball. Hit the hole-in-one to score a super jackpot. The design is impeccable. The orbits are fast and the rails are slow, and everything has a flow. And the voices and animations are good. You're making me dizzy. Bud and Buzz are just obnoxious enough to make you want to hit them. Ooh. There's quite a lot of variety on the table, and enough to hold your interest while progressing the course and battling the gophers. And with a little practice, completing nine holes is a fair challenge for a novice player. Overall, No Good Gopher slams you into the action, and is an absolute must try if you ever find one in the wild. This is one of the few tables I'm familiar with in real life, and I'm really happy with what Farsight Studios have done when it comes to digitizing the experience. I really had fun playing the pinball arcade, and if you want to hear my two cents on any other tables, just let me know.